So on October 31st, 2011, Stephen Colbert's program, The Colbert Report, featured a interview with two members of the Occupy Wall Street movement. Thanks so much for talking to me today. Hi, Stephen. Hi. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's just get your names here. You are? Justin Wiedis. Okay. And you are? Ketchup. And I, I think I might have misheard that. Your name is? It's Ketchup. And you have a last name? Uh, ketchup? I have one. I prefer not to say on camera. Okay. Are you wanted by the police? No. And while there was diminishing public support for the movement at the time, this would probably be the biggest highlight of the problems that were in the movement. Namely, the fact that there was no real clear organizational structure and there was no real clear messaging to the point where media could pretty much just get anybody to come onto camera and they wouldn't be prepared to give what were actually demands of the movement at the time. I bring this up because somehow a Reddit mod managed to give an even worse first impression than a woman with extremely thick glasses stating that her name was Ketchup in front of a late night comedian. R slash anti work is a subreddit dedicated towards talking about crappy work experiences and also highlighting crappy instances of workplace culture generally through how bosses treat their employees. And with recent headlines like the Amazon tornado incident and the ongoing strike of Kellogg's, it's kind of understandable where this mentality is coming from. And to give the anti-work people a little bit of credit where credit is due, when Kellogg's was trying to, you know, go around the picket line while their workers were striking, uh, the subreddit itself apparently flooded Kellogg's with a bunch of fake applications for the job listings that they had to circumvent this uh, strike. Which, all in all, good for them. That's actually kind of funny. But the overall message of the subreddit is a little bit of a contentious point right now, given the fact that there are a lot of new people joining in that aren't as um, insanely communist as some of the moderators would like it to be. And these tensions came to a head when a Fox News interview with one of the moderators used slash abolish work. From the very beginning, there was a little bit off with the overall presentation that the person gave. They were avoiding eye contact. They were rocking walking back and forth while giving the interview. I work group, Doreen Ford. All right, so Doreen, why do you like the idea of being home, not working, but still getting paid by corporate America? And gave not necessarily the best answers, uh, specifically this line. Uh, sure. I mean, I think as much as people want, I mean, I personally, uh, work, I have, I have like a 20, 25 hour work weeks, which I think is fairly good. Um, so I would like less work hours. Um, and what I do you do, Doreen? Still... Uh, I'm a dog walker. A dog walker. Okay. Yes. And how, uh, yeah. So how I old are you? If you don't mind me asking. Sure. I'm 30. You're 30. Okay. And is there something you want to do besides being a dog walker? Do you aspire to do anything more than dog walking? Or is that kind of your, your pinnacle? Uh, I, I love working with dogs. If I had to do this for the rest of my life, you know, I wouldn't be super complaining. You know, dogs are wonderful animals. Uh, but I'm, I would love to teach. Uh, I would love to, um, you teach. know, uh, work, with, work with people and well, stuff like that. What would that. you yeah. teach, Doreen? Uh, a philosophy, mostly. Philosophy. Just introduction to philosophy, critical thinking, reason, stuff like that. Really speaks to uh, how badly of a first impression that these people might be giving them. And this did not go unnoticed by the subreddit itself. Uh, almost immediately after the interview aired, people were criticizing the moderator's uh, just general demeanor during the interview, how they answered the questions, and their lack of professionalism. Coupled with the fact that now that this was airing on broadcast television, a lot more interest was given towards the subreddit, and it was flooded with uh, a lot of new users who, again, kind of went against the overall culture that some of the moderators might have wanted to foster. The criticism of the moderation also kind of intensified when in a fit of damage control they said that apparently the moderator that was chosen to give the interview was deemed the best by a committee decision of all the other moderators which really only further exacerbated the problem 
Not to mention the fact that multiple users were accusing the moderation team of deliberately deleting their posts that were critical of the moderation, leading to a Streisand effect that led this to be discussed on other venues such as our videos, our Cringetopia, and Kiwi Farms. Kiwi Farms going so far as to even feature the article of r slash anti work as one of their community happenings as this trash fire went into full swing. This also led to the moderator, Doreen, being immediately doxxed, with a couple of very humorous aspects of their history leaked onto the internet. The fact that they are apparently a master's degree holder with only the highest level of experience within the workplace being a cashier position at Walgreens, and apparently also being $120,000 in debt, along with the propensity that Doreen apparently has to mislead media about certain aspects of their life. This is how the Wikipedia page for anti-work lists Doreen as voluntarily quitting their job on advice of their grandmother, when some Reddit posts kind of lead people to believe that maybe they might have been fired for sleeping on the job. These uh, past Reddit posts are also leading people to believe that they lied about the working 25 hours a week part. Uh, sure. I mean, I think as much as people want. I mean, I personally uh, work. I have I have like a 20, 25 hour work week. Yeah, that uh, that actually might only be 10 hours a week, uh, given the fact that they say that they walk the dogs two hours a day. So I don't know. I'm not a mathematician, but two times five. I don't think that equals 20, bro. The increased scrutiny became too much for the Reddit and they eventually went private for a couple of hours. This evasiveness along with the still not too happy attitudes towards the moderators themselves led to the creation of r slash work reform, which seems to be a little bit less batshit crazy communist and seems to be more towards alleviating poor working conditions and general unionization, which again, I think can actually you people can get behind as opposed to the crazy larpy communist stuff uh this subreddit by the way grew to over 400,000 users within one day so it's pretty clear that a broad majority of the active user base of r slash anti-work are pretty fed up with the moderators at this point uh, eventually anti-work did come back up and they had a mega thread with an faq explaining their actions over the last 24 hours as well as doing some damage control for doreen saying that she totally prepared for the interview she showered an hour beforehand i mean come on and that everything else is just uh is, is lies in a witch hunt and uh you know making note of alleged sexual assaults uh yeah 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 there's a uh, there's some facebook posts uh doreen has made explaining why somebody is calling her a serial rapist as well as some people defending her saying uh well she's a woman so therefore it can't be rape you you really you really can't make up stuff like this with redditors sometimes just Holy crap, dude. Um, this FAQ slash damage control thread was up for about a couple of hours until it was deleted. Uh, currently, the subreddit is in a state of complete anarchy. It is mostly just filled with people memeing on the ongoing drama around the subreddit and people just sort of laughing at the moderation and just Doreen in general. Hey there everybody, it's Linko from the future here. Originally this video was going to end around here, but I also kind of kept an eye on the happenings of the subreddit drama for the next couple days afterwards, and I wanted to show a couple of funny little tidbits that I thought were really good. So the first really funny thing was the fact that Doreen, or you slash abolish work, was removed from their moderation position due to how embarrassing and also the, uh, the, the Facebook posts. However, there was a funny little thing where a moderator was removing posts related to Doreen where the subreddit was locked down to anybody that didn't have a Reddit account that was more than three days old. And this moderator, who was just added, apparently only had a Reddit account that was a day old now i know all the right-wing conspiracy theorists in my chat are quickly typing out saying that oh this is obviously doreen under a new account listen get the facts straight there's no way that they would totally make a show of deleting somebody who 
was very publicly embarrassing for them, but then also have them under a new name so they could do work for free. That that would never happen. Get it, get it straight, you, you you fucking chuds. Speaking of, apparently the r slash work reform subreddit is run by right wing bankers. Cool it with the anti-Semitic remark. It couldn't be a fact that the r slash work reform subreddit is you know publicly criticizing anti-work that there's there's absolutely no way that might inform why uh they're laying out this claim no no, no way whatsoever but i have to say i think things are really looking up for r slash anti-work they they have a guy now that's a, a top reddit mod for over nine years of experience on the r slash rape subreddit and r slash contrapoints and specializes in disrupting far-right infiltration of social media spaces and removing bad actors this uh post also got a lot of negative attention due to the fact that another moderator white pirate 15 was acting even more like a typical redditor than all the other moderators posting absolute bangers such as I would argue 13 year olds need more power to make their own decisions. Society spends much time sheltering the youth. Why did they arrest the kid for bestiality? That really shouldn't be a crime. Let people do whatever they want when it comes to sex. And while posting on r slash gay incest. I'm new to the whole incest thing, but I can't imagine walking in on my parents having sex, even with other people, let alone them walking in on me. Uh, these people are, uh, they're, they're, they're something else. <laughs> But that's mostly where I'm going to leave off on this uh, this, this sordid tale. Um, for people who are interested in more in-depth discussion about this topic, there is the r slash anti-work Kiwi Farms thread that has been uh, blowing up recently due to the fact that this was featured. Um, they have like a lot of good resources and have been covering the overall drama in a very humorous way. Um, and I also have been using them for a lot of uh, research purposes on this subject. If Doreen themselves resurfaces, then I might do a follow-up video on that because I think that there might be a powder keg of just internet insanity that'll be really fun to take a look at. But due to the fact that they've been completely and utterly humiliated, I don't really see that happening. But if you really like this, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel and leaving a like. Um, even clicking the notification bell because I have a feeling that there will be some individuals that will try to downplay the utter embarrassment that happened to all these people. And I will probably do live streams laughing at their damage control because it's really funny when these idiots uh, do damage control. It's really funny. Um, but that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope to see you guys next time. Ciao, everybody.